Hello YouTube friends! Today we are doing a cook with me. I'm gonna make a Parmesan hash brown casserole as I am hosting Christmas for my side of the family today. So I thought I would share the recipe with you and I will link to the recipe in the description box below. That'll bring you to a blog post that I wrote probably like eight years ago on my blog. Um, so you can go check that out if you're interested in making it. But I'm just gonna show you really quick what all we are using. I'm gonna get the stove top on here and we are going to use three cups of half and half. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the pan right away to get that started. And we're gonna use half a stick of butter. Um, the original recipe calls for a full stick of butter but I have made it with just half trying to cut calories here and there and I found that it actually works just fine that way. So we're gonna go ahead and take half a stick of butter here from my nice little butter dish and add that to the pan. And then a couple of other things that we're gonna add to this, we are going to add a teaspoon of salt and we are also going to add a quarter teaspoon, give or take, of pepper. And then we are also going to add garlic. Now, if you have a fresh clove of garlic, I usually use just one clove of garlic, but because I already have this lovely jar of minced garlic from Costco, I'm gonna take the shortcut and I am going to go ahead and just use about uh, a teaspoon. This is a very heaped up teaspoon of garlic. You might hear some children in the background. They are all here and all awake right now. So, mom life. And then we're gonna just give this a quick stir and basically all we're gonna do is melt the butter. We're not trying to bring this to a hard boil or anything. We're just trying to melt the butter and infuse the half and half with the flavor of the garlic. And that is all that we're doing with that. And then I have one bag of hash brown potatoes. This is a 30 ounce or a one pound 14 ounce bag of um, shredded hash brown potatoes. I use the name brand, I've used like the Target store brand. Both are just fine. I also just used store brand half and half. And then I have one bag of Parmesan cheese. This is just the stuff you would find pre-shredded in the bag. This is a six ounce bag. Now the recipe calls for um, Parmesan, but I have used Kojak cheese to make this. I have used cheddar cheese, both mild and medium and sharp. Kind of just whatever cheese I have on hand and they all work great. If you really wanted to spice things up, you'd probably use pepper jack and that would also be delicious. So anyways, so we're gonna layer up our hash browns and our cheese while we're waiting for this to heat up. So we're just gonna open this bag up and I'm gonna dump about half of the bag, maybe slightly more than half, right into my nine by 13 casserole dish. I did defrost these hash browns about halfway. Um, you can just do that in the fridge overnight, the night before you post, um, or you can just throw them in a bowl in the microwave and you know microwave them for a minute or two and they'll be fine. And then we're gonna do about half of the bag of cheese. So this ends up being about one and a half cups of cheese. If you had a bag of cheddar cheese that was like two cups, a little more cheese won't hurt, right? It's, that's the philosophy that I like to live by. A little more cheese won't hurt. So if you are um, gluten-free, you could certainly make this recipe. Obviously it's not dairy-free in any way, shape, or form, or vegan for that matter. But, um, but yeah, you can definitely make it gluten-free. You just need to check your bag to make sure some um, Frozen potatoes do have a, like a unclumping agent or sometimes they will have flour in there. So just, you know, check. This one actually says it is gluten free. So the Orida ones are just, just for your reference. And so we're just gonna let this uh, come to a simmer to melt the cream, or I mean the butter, and then we're gonna add the rest of the Parmesan cheese right on top. Kiddos are sneaking by over here. So, and then we're just gonna make sure that the cheese is evenly spread on top of the 
potatoes and voila that's it we're gonna pour the cream on in a minute or the half and half I keep calling it cream I don't know why so I'm just gonna stir this I already have my oven preheated to 325 and this bakes for about an hour so I'm gonna let that melt all right so this is melted and ready to go I just turned the heat off one other thing I was gonna say is that this is actually a really good recipe to make if you have some leftover ham from another meal. Um, I have made this just as a dinner, like in place of like scalloped potatoes and ham, just using the hash browns because it's just plain easier than slicing and peeling all those potatoes. Um, but if you had like a cup of you know cubed or diced up ham, you could absolutely throw that in and the leftovers make for a really good breakfast the next morning with a fried egg on top. So there's a little fun one. You could also add um, like minced up onion if you want to get a little veggie in there as well. And then we're just going to pour the beautiful half and half and butter and cream mixture in here and then we're gonna pop it in the oven and that is that all right so here is the casserole in all of its glorious cheesy potatoey goodness and I'm gonna pop it in the oven chill for one hour and I will be talking to you soon I'm gonna let that cook go take care of a baby um, but if you are new here I just want to say hi my name is Meredith and I hope that you will like subscribe and ring the bell and I'll talk to you guys soon